Hi everybody. In this particular question, I'm uh, being requ required to just simply combine this into a single logarithm using the laws of logarithms. Now, I should be able to do this in two steps. Okay, no more than two steps. Now, I want you to keep thinking about it that way because later on when we start solving logarithmic equations, sometimes there's a tendency to think that logarithms um, uh, distribute over their arguments, and they don't. You need to be able to get things into, into one logarithm in about two steps here. Now, the very first step I've got to deal with is the coefficient, the multiplication. Okay, the multiplication here. So this becomes the log of A minus the log of B cubed plus the log of, now I'm going to take five, well I'll do it here in this step right here and then in the next step we'll, we'll deal with it. This is going to be the fifth root of C to the fifth. Now I hope you see that that just becomes C. So I've dealt with the multiplication there just like I would in, in bed mass and then now what I'll do is I'll deal with the addition and the subtraction. Now when we subtract that becomes division. Okay. When we, mul when we add, that becomes multiplication. When we're doing these things, you need to make sure that you're doing them left to right. Okay. If you start to do this this way, you're very likely going to make a mistake here. Okay. This needs to be done left to right. So this is the log, common log of A minus B means A over A over B cubed plus C, because remember the, the fifth root of C to the fifth is going to cancel. This is going to be just C. But this is multiplication, so if I multiply this by C, that C is going to go in the numerator. So essentially what this amounts to here is that if you've got terms that have positive signs in the front, those arguments go in the numerator. If there's a term that has a negative sign in front, that argument goes into the denominator. That, there's your, there are your two kind of steps here. Deal with the coefficients first, and then positive terms, their arguments are in the numerator. Negative terms, their arguments are in the denominator.